All right, moving on. Abby is being friendly considered emotional cheating. There's a fine line here. Yeah, so this is a situation that my friend is in. So she's stuck in this really sticky situation where she feels like she's unintentionally becoming the other woman and she wants no part of it if it's really what's happening. So she's in this situation where she's like, do I look like an a-hole if I shut down this friendly behavior or am I overreacting and do I just go along with it because I'm enjoying my time? So this friend of mine has another friend that she's known for a couple of years and she's engaged to a guy and they have this group of couple of friends. And so they hang out a lot and they invite my friend who's single to hang out. And she says, you know, I really enjoy this group because it's like guys and it's girls. And it's nice that even though I'm the quote unquote designated single friend, I can still hang out with couples and have it be a good time. So there's one couple um, that she's recently gotten like closer with. She's She gels the most with them. And they recently, very conveniently, just moved a couple floors above her in the same building. So they just moved into her apartment complex. And she's like, this is great. Like, we can all pregame together when it's baseball season and I'll get to see them more. And I really enjoy this couple. Well, now some somewhat shady stuff has kind of come out from the man in this relationship or at least she feels like it's shady. So she was hanging out with them all as a group. Um, and the wife, I think, works nights as a nurse or something. So she wasn't there. And she was talking to this guy who now lives a couple floors above her. And he goes, oh, hey, you know, I just moved into your building. It would be so great if we could, like, grab dinner and hang out. And my friend's like, oh, that's awesome. Like, I love you and your wife. Like, let's for sure, like, grab Mexican or something. So a couple days goes by and they end up grabbing dinner together. And she shows up to the Mexican restaurant and it's just him. Like, the wife is not there. Uh-oh. And she's like, oh, like, this feels a little uncomfortable. I, I enjoy hanging out with you, of course, because, you know, you're a good friend of mine. But I, I also <laughs> enjoy hanging out with you and your wife. Like, this now feels like a very uncomfortable one-on-one situation. So she's like, maybe this is a one-off thing. Like, maybe next time we hang out, it'll be all three of us again. So no, she would have man. never agreed to that dinner had he said, let's just you and I go hang out. Well, she likes him as a friend. She's like, I don't not want to hang out with this guy, but it does feel a little bit like he's cheating on her with me. So then he makes plans with her, you know, a week later, he's like, let's grab dinner again. She's like, okay, sure. Like, I hope your wife's there. And again, same thing. He shows up alone and she goes, why, where's your wife? Like, what's she up to? And he goes, oh, well, she doesn't like going out to dinner. Um, she just prefers to eat at home. She doesn't like eating out. And now she feels like, am I, I don't want to date him. But am I becoming the other woman? And at this point, she doesn't know if the wife knows that they are hanging out one-on-one or not? She doesn't know for sure, but it doesn't seem like it's a secret. No. He's definitely setting this whole thing up. This this feels so off. So I'm, I'm taking some of my, like, in my friend group, like, the couples I know who I like both of them, right? I like him. I like her. I'm friends with both of them. If the husband were to ask me out to dinner, I, I, I would assume, like, you know, okay, we're doing a group thing, and I show up, and it's just him. That that is huge red flag. Mm-hmm. That's giving major red flag energy. Like, y- unless you guys were established friends prior, but if you got to know them together, it's one thing if like, oh, well, we grew up together and he was my friend and then he met her and got married and we still have like some kind of... That is so odd to me that he is specifically asking her out to dinner mm-hmm. and not bringing his wife and has done it not once but twice. That, that that's... Mm, that's not right. 95% of me says that this dude is for sure trying to set up an affair right here. And I'm only saying 95 because I don't want to say 100. <laughs> <laughs> just in but, case you're wrong. But there's no way, especially a second time. Oh, she just doesn't like to go out to dinners. Get out of here with that. I completely agree with y'all. But just to play the other side of it, what, what if the wife knows? Is it still shady? Like, what if he's actually actively telling his wife, like, I know you don't want to go. You don't want to hang out. But. I enjoy her company, and we we hang out one-on-one, and she's cool with it. If if I'm the friend, I would need to hear that from the wife in order for me to believe it. Okay. Because she does work nights. She is a nurse. So it is possible that some of those nights, like, she's either getting ready to leave or is maybe exhausted from, like, the night before, and she's off that night and just doesn't want to go out. But I was on the other side. I actually told her, I'm like, I feel like it's very healthy when a man can have platonic female friends. Like, I know there's there's a part of me that's like, maybe it is shady, but I'm also like... You're (laughs) adorable. You're so adorable right now. I'm I'm genuinely shocked by your take right now. really, I'm like, it's, it's, to me, it's such a green flag if a man can have platonic female friends. Like, I do know some guys that have, like, emphasis on some guys who have 
good female friends. They just have like mm-hmm. a good core group of friends yeah. that happen to be girls. A- absolutely. That can happen. And I totally agree with you. However, in this case, it's super shady that he keeps inviting her out and the wife doesn't show up. And I do think that if you are in a coupled relationship, that when a new person comes into the relationship that's of the opposite sex, you both need to have some interaction with this new person. So, like, for instance, if my neighbor were to ask my husband out to dinner and her husband not show and then I'm I'm not there because I don't want to go out. Yeah, no, that's not going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd be, more, it'd be different if this was my boyfriend doing this. I would have a different opinion. But, yeah, so what do I tell her to do? Just deny it next time he asks her to go out to dinner? Yeah. Say no. Be like, is your wife going to be there? And when he says no, be like... I'd, I'd love to hang out with you. I miss you. I miss you both. I'd love to hang out with the both yeah, of you. There it is. I, I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, it, this is one of those scenarios that it's so strange to me that she would feel uncomfortable when he's the one doing the thing that's making everybody uncomfortable. Welcome to the life of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's turning on some good Mexican food, but at least she's not breaking up a marriage. The Burt Show.